Genevieve, it is a pleasure to be with you today. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, it's lovely to meet you, Andreas. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, I'm so excited to talk to you. Obviously, you're no stranger to the Star Wars universe. Now, one thing I love about Star Wars, especially the prequels, is that we get to learn a little bit more about how political leaders can be a force for good uh, inside this world versus just military leaders. I feel like Andor is going to tap into that even a little bit more with the Imperial Senate. How do you feel like Mon Mothma's character especially uh, kind of reinforces the fact that we do need more people in power, people with platforms to hear the people and to have their voice used for good? Well, I, I, I completely agree with you. Um, I think Star Wars has also has always um, held the um, the, the battlefield, the activism with, with the battle alongside a political story. You know, Palpatine himself is, is, was the emperor. So he, they, that's always kind of lived together. I think what's so exciting about Andor is that Tony Gilroy was really willing to invest narrative space and story in Mon Mothma uh, alongside or in tandem with um, Cassian's story. Cassian is the activist, the rebel, the and Mon Mothma is the politician. She is, um, when we meet her in Andor, in a very different place than we've ever seen her before, she is navigating the Imperial Senate. She is um, trying to use her voice to effect change within the Senate. I think she believes that she can be a voice for change. She struggles to um, to, to 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 gather um, resistance against Palpatine. So she, we know, she has to stay a step outside of that. But I think what's wonderful is that we see that diplomacy has a place. That diplomacy ha has a has that there is space for diplomacy that we can use our voices as our weapons. We can use words as tools. And often in the world we live in, we must have one that, 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 is, that works alongside the other. We must have voices for change alongside activism. And I think um, rebellion and activism can be most effective if we have voices fighting for us as well as bodies. Yeah, and when it comes to to the kind of themes that we see in Star Wars, especially nowadays, it, it's kind of crazy how back in 1977, these themes that George Lucas was bringing in are still even more relevant now than ever. And, and, and when it comes to this idea of fascism, of authoritarianism kind of taking over the empire and slowly becoming more and more into this authoritarianism kind of government, how do you feel like these themes can keep coming up in Star Wars, but also kind of keep crossing over into our real world and can kind of comment on what we're facing now in the world and how we can use Star Wars as almost like a, an inspiration or a stepping off point. I think there is no doubt that great storytelling holds a mirror up to society. I think that has always been the case. I think what Star Wars does brilliantly and has done since George Lucas began it is to marry the epic with the intimate, to be able to create universal themes and yet use and yet tell them through very personal and familial stories to so that we can recognize ourselves with these within the scope of a science fiction or, a, or, or universal storytelling. You know, the Greeks did it as well. They told these huge myths created these intricate mythologies and yet at their heart where they were about families there is a real connection between that mythology and star wars mythology and i think i think we when we see characters like our characters in star wars speak for one another hope for one another. We recognize ourselves. We recognize what we want the world to be. We recognize which side we want, we wish we could st stand on. We recognize 
what we would hope we could be. And I think that's why it's inspirational. Absolutely. And, and I really do feel like your character is one of the keys in that. I don't know if you know this, but you have a massive fan base and community centered around Mon Mothma. People absolutely mm -hmm. love your character. So I am so excited to see more of her in Andor. Thank you so much for your time, Genevieve. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy it.